If you're getting ready to take a flight for the holidays, you may be safer than you think. A new study on air quality has some shocking results tonight. CBS 46's Farmer Alliance tells us why. Farmel? Yeah, that's exactly right, Rick and Brittany. When it comes to air quality and airplanes, you may be safer than you think when it comes to your home or your office. Tonight, I speak to a local expert who breaks it all down. Plane actually has probably a better chance of keeping you healthier with their filter systems running all the time versus keeping a window open on the bus or a vehicle. Department of Defense suggests you're less likely to contract coronavirus from the air you breathe on an airplane than what you're breathing at home. So are you trying to tell me that the air in your house is dirtier than the air on an airplane? The dust on your clothing, on your shoes builds up and gets in there. The things you drag in from outside. Uh, there's more dust, allergens, mold uh, spores coming in with you every day. So The researchers, including airline industry experts and health officials, say airlines are getting rid of most of that contamination by using high air exchange rates, filtered recirculation, and downward ventilation. One of the things they've done is increase the number of air volumes going through uh, the system so they get greater air exchanges than they used to have. In any given week, keep track of how many people are coming into your home. For every person allowed inside, that's how many times you should pull out a vacuum per week. Whether you're 30,000 feet in the air or on the ground, Luke says proper PPE protocol is still critical. It's not just the masks, it's just not just the cleaning, you know, or the UV lights or the disinfectants. It's a combination of those that help us stay safe. Yeah, and Luke Van Oldenburg says that when it comes to air quality tests, you can do it in your safety of your own home. It takes four to five hours in order for you to create a sample, and then you take that sample to a lab for two days. In Atlanta, I'm Barma Lyons, CBS 46 News.